to Middle Ground Media, where news is delivered without an agenda. In today's coverage, Segment 1, Biden outraged by Israeli strike killing aid workers in Gaza President Joe Biden expressed his outrage and heartbreak over the death of seven World Central Kitchen humanitarian workers due to an Israeli airstrike in Gaza. Highlighting the conflict's heavy toll on aid workers, Biden criticized Israel's actions and emphasized the need for better protection of civilians and aid distributors. This incident marks one of Biden's most potent criticisms of Israel since the war with Hamas began, aligning with growing criticism from various groups within the U.S. The deaths have sparked a call for a reassessment of humanitarian aid delivery and civilian safety measures in conflict zones. Segment 2 Desperation in Haiti as Americans scramble to escape the escalating violence in Haiti has led to a frantic effort by Americans and Haitians alike to find safe passage out of the country. Despite over 450 U.S. nationals being evacuated since last month, many remain trapped amidst the chaos. The violence, sparked by political turmoil and gang warfare, has put a spotlight on the international community's struggle to respond effectively. The situation in Haiti underscores the dire consequences of political instability and raises questions about the effectiveness of international aid and intervention strategies. Segment 3, Uganda's Anti-Gay Law Upheld Activists fear violence Uganda's constitutional court's decision to uphold an anti-gay law, which includes the death penalty for certain homosexual acts, has drawn sharp criticism from LGBTQ activists. Frank Mugisha, a prominent activist, has warned of an increase in violence and discrimination against the LGBTQ community in Uganda. This ruling reinforces the country's stance on homosexuality and highlights the ongoing struggle for LGBTQ rights in many parts of the world. The international community's response to this development will be crucial in shaping the future of LGBTQ rights in Uganda. Segment 4 e Medellin, Colombia bans sex work in key areas after U.S. tourist incident Medellin's mayor announced a temporary ban on prostitution in two popular neighborhoods following the discovery of an American tourist with underage girls. This move, aimed at combating sex trafficking and protecting minors, has sparked debate over the regulation of sex work and the rights of sex workers. The incident and subsequent ban raise questions about the effectiveness of such measures in addressing the underlying issues of sex trafficking and exploitation. Segment 5, over 53,000 flee Porteu Prince amid surge in violence A significant increase in gang violence in Haiti's capital has forced more than 53,000 people to flee their homes in less than three weeks. The mass exodus underscores the escalating security crisis in Haiti, further complicating the country's long-standing political and humanitarian challenges. The situation has prompted urgent calls for international assistance and a coherent strategy to restore order and safety for the Haitian population. Segment 6, Mayoral Candidate Murdered on Campaign Trail in Mexico Gisela Guyton, a mayoral candidate in Mexico, was fatally shot during a campaign event, highlighting the ongoing issue of political violence in the country. Despite requesting security protection, Guyton received no response from authorities, underscoring the risks faced by political figures in regions plagued by crime and corruption. This incident adds to the growing list of politicians and candidates who have become victims of violence in Mexico, raising concerns about the safety of public officials and the integrity of the electoral process. Segment 7, Norwegian cruise ship leaves eight passengers stranded eight passengers, including Jay and Jill Campbell from South Carolina, found themselves stranded on the African island of Sao Tome and Principe after their cruise ship departed without them. The incident has brought attention to the responsibilities of cruise lines in ensuring the safety and well-being of their passengers. The passenger's ordeal highlights the challenges and uncertainties that can arise during travel prompting discussions about the need for clearer communication and support mechanisms for travelers in such situations. Segment 8, Pope Francis denounces a madness of war showing Ukrainian soldiers rosary Pope Francis led a moment of silence for aid workers killed in Gaza and a young Ukrainian soldier, using the soldier's rosary and New Testament as symbols of the tragedy of conflict. The Pope's actions underscore his continued calls for peace and an end to hostilities in conflict zones around the world. His gesture highlights the personal toll of war and the urgent need for diplomatic solutions to ongoing conflicts. Segment 9, North Korea tests new hypersonic missile amid tensions North Korea announced the successful test of a new hypersonic intermediate-range missile, signaling a significant advancement in its weapons capabilities. 
this development has heightened concerns about the potential for escalated military tensions in the region and the implications for international security. The test underscores the challenges of addressing North Korea's growing missile and nuclear arsenal and the importance of diplomatic efforts to mitigate the threat of conflict. Thank you for tuning into Middle Ground Media. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unbiased news. Join us again tomorrow for your daily dose of truth and clarity.